guys, welcome back to Pimple Piggy Barbecue. Today we got a, I got a science fair project that we're doing at school this year. And so, we'll bring it to y'all too. What, what we're doing is, we have three chicken breasts. This one, we haven't done anything to. This one, we've brined for 12 and a half hours. And then this one, we injected an hour and a half, an hour and a half ago, excuse me. So, the reason we injected this an hour and a half ago is, is because if you let it sit too long, it becomes more of a brine, and it's kind of pointless at that point. So there we go. And I personally think that the injected one will hold more moisture than the brine one. That's because we injected it into the meat by hand, and so it's already in there. Yes, some of it has leaked out, but that just comes with it. When we got, we went to Kroger and got three chicken breasts that were pretty much all equally sized. They're all about 13 ounces, and so we trimmed them down, got them to 13 ounces for all of them, and then brined, injected, and then here we are. So, take these out. We're gonna weigh them individually. So this one, we did not inject more brine. It's just been in the bag. So let's see. Turn one. That one is 13 even. The non brined or injected is 13 ounces even. And then got the brined one. Open this up, take it out, let it drip off for a little bit. Get all that, get some of that excess off. scale that one is 13.5 the brined and then the injected move this over here for a minute we'll get dry a little And that one is 13.8 on the dot. And just looking at them, I mean, it's not much difference in the injected and the uh, brined. The brined's got a little color change just because I brined it and I brined it and injected in three ounces of apple juice and one ounce of apple cider vinegar. So the vinegar's kind of changed the color of that one a little more than this one, but nothing too drastic. They all look about the same right now so that's about it for us right now i'll catch y'all here in a little while today we're just gonna get a little bit of honey 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 jalapeno on these chicken chicken breasts so we're just gonna equally we're gonna put it out on them and then we're gonna wait after we season as well so you get a good coat on there perfect and then and then after seasoned that's 13.15 for the non-injected and then I mean not for the nothing on that one and then get some season on that on that one on the brine one get the both sides of it That one's going to be 13.6 after being seasoned. And then for the injected, get some better seasoning on there. Let's get a good coat on both sides. For the injected one, it's going to be 13.9. So we'll catch y'all back when we cook them, and then we'll weigh them one more time, and we should be good. I'll see y'all there. So we're going to pull this piece of chicken off this plate. That way we're not weighing all the liquid that's on the plate, and it's only weighing the meat itself and the liquid that's in it. So this is the non-injected, non-brined, just straight out of the pack chicken. 
Oh, and it is 10.65. 10 ounces, 0.65. And so, I don't expect it to be that light, but I guess it is. So we pulled the chicken. They reached 170 degrees internal. They did take an extra 40 minutes than the non-brine, non-injected chicken did because it has more liquid in it. It takes a lot, a lot longer to cook. So we're about to, this is about to weigh the brine one. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the non-injected, non-brine. I'm going to pull it off that plate. There's no, well... There's not a whole lot of residual liquid on the plate, but we're still going to keep it consistent. So we're going to turn our turn the scale on and put it on. That one is 9.2. That is the brine one. And we're going to put that right there. Put that down here. And then we got our injectable one here. We can do the exact same thing with it. Pull, pull it off. Again, not a whole lot of liquid left on the plate. I mean, so we're gonna put it on a new fresh plate and weigh it as well. And we're at 9.3. Wait, hold up. 9.25 actually. So, man, those are some crazy results. So for the natural, we started off at 13.1 ounces, and then <clears throat> after cook, we ended at 10.65, and we lost 19% of the weight for the natural. And then for the brine, we start 13.6 with after the brine, and then post cook, it was 9.2 ounces. We lost 32% of the weight on the brine, and then on the injected, it was. 13.9 before we cooked it and then it finished at 9.25 and then we lost 33% of the weight on the injected one. So between the brine and the injected it didn't make a whole lot of difference. The brine did hold a little more of its weight than the injected but not very much. Thanks for checking us out today at Uncle Pookie Barbecue. You can catch us on Facebook and Instagram at Uncle Pookie Barbecue and The Revolt Jake on Instagram. You can go ahead and don't mind to subscribe and like and follow us on Instagram, and we'll catch you next time. Y'all have a good one.